Ugadi Ugadi Samvatsaradi Ugadi Ugadi is announced by Gauthami Putra Shatakarni in 1st century he is the Telugu first king was done by all small kingdoms into one kingdom that is Bharath Khandam and the New Year's Day for the people of Andhra Pradesh Karnataka and Telangana states in India It is festively observed in these regions on the first day of the Hindu lunisolar calendar month of Kshetra this typically falls in March or April of the Gregorian calendar. The day is observed by drawing colorful patterns on floor called Kalamulus, Telugu, Mugulu, Kannada, Rangoli, mango leaf decorations on doors called Toranalu, Kannada, Torana, buying and giving gifts such as new clothes, giving charity to the poor, special bath followed by oil treatment, preparing and sharing a special food called Pachadi, and visiting Hindu temples. The pachadi is a notable festive food that combines all flavors, sweet, sour, salty, bitter. In the Telugu and Kannada Hindu traditions, it is a symbolic reminder that one must expect all flavors of experiences in the coming new year and make the most of them. Ugadi have been important and historic festival of the Hindus, with medieval texts and inscriptions recording major charitable donations to Hindu temples and community centers on this day. The same day is observed as a new year by Hindus in many other parts of India. For example, it is called Gudi Padwa in Maharashtra, but sometimes observed a Gregorian day earlier because the lunar day starts and ends in Hindu calendar according to the position of the moon. In Karnataka, the festival is celebrated as Ugadi. Terminology. <inaudible> <inaudible> The name Yugadi or Ugadi is derived from the Sanskrit words Yuga age and Adi beginning, the beginning of a new age. Yugadi or Ugadi falls on Kshetra Shuddha Padayami, or the first day of the bright half of the Indian month of Kshetra. This generally falls in late March or early April of the Gregorian calendar. Andhra Pradesh and Telangana use the term Ugadi, Ugadi for this festival. The people of Karnataka use the term Ugadi. Ugadi. Topic: Practices. The Kannada, Kodava, Telugu and the Tulu diaspora in Karnataka, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu and Kerala celebrate the festival with great fanfare. Gatherings of the extended family and a sumptuous feast are de rigueur. The day begins early with ritual showers, rubbing the body with perfumed oil, followed by prayers. Preparations for the festival begin a week ahead. Houses are given a thorough clean. People buy new clothes and dhoti and buy new items for the festival, decorate the entrance of their houses with fresh mango leaves. Mango leaves and coconuts are considered auspicious in the Hindu tradition, and they are used on Ugadi. People also clean the front of their house with water and cow dung paste, then draw colorful floral designs. People offer prayer in temples. The celebration of Ugadi is marked by religious zeal and social merriment. According to Vasudha Narayanan, a professor of religion at the University of Florida, the Pachadi festive dish symbolically reminds the people that the following year, as all of life, will consist of not just sweet experiences, but a combination of sweet, sour, salty, and bitter episodes. Just as the different substances are bound together, one is reminded that no event or episode is wholly good or bad. Even in the midst of bitter experiences, there are sweet moments. One is also reminded that the experience of taste is transitory and ephemeral, so too, is life, and one has to learn to put pain and pleasure in proper temporal perspective. In Karnataka, jaggery bella, bella prepared from the fresh harvest of sugarcane is mixed with the flower buds of the neem tree bevu, bevu and eaten after the puj, but before lunch. This is called Bevu Bella, Bevu Bella and is indicative of the fact that life will always be a mixture of sweetness and bitterness. It is also reminiscent of the philosophy of the Bhagavad Gita which imprints on us that one should have a calm equanimity towards life's ups and downs. 
A Sanskrit shloka that explicates the medicinal and spiritual benefits of the neem is also chanted while chewing this sweet bitter mixture. Satyarvajradheya sarvasamputkaraya ka sarvaristavinasaya nimbakam dalbaksana For attaining a strong diamond hard body that lasts a hundred years, for obtaining all kinds of wealth, for destroying all negativity, the leaves of neem are to be eaten. Another practice in Karnataka associated with Ugadi is the Panchangasravana, Pankangasravana the practice is to worship and read the new Panchanga, Pankanga the almanac for the upcoming year which lists the fortune of the individuals according to their astrological signs, the rainfall for the year, eclipses that may occur in the year, and a general prediction of the country's affairs. Special dishes are prepared for the occasion, in Karnataka eatables olage, vobatu and mango pickles are made, in Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, eatables such as Pulahora, Babatlu, Bakshalu, Polalu, Alagali, New Year Burlu, and Pachadi, and preparations made with raw mango go well with the occasion. Of this pachadi or ugadi pachadi is most notable, and consists of a chutney-like dish which includes ingredients to give all flavors, sweet, sour, tangy, and bitter. This festive Hindu food is made from tamarind paste, neem flowers, brown sugar or sweet jaggery, salt, and sometimes mango. It is a symbolic reminder of complex phases of life one should reasonably expect in the new year. <laughs> <laughs> Dishes In Andhra Pradesh and Telangana a special dish called babatu polalu puran poli oliga are prepared on this occasion. This special dish is called bakshalu, boralu in which is eaten with fresh ghee in Andhra Pradesh Telangana state. These are eaten along with the ugadi pachadi mentioned earlier. In Karnataka a special dish called obatu, or holage, holage obatu is prepared. It consists of a filling gram and jaggery, sugar boiled and made into a paste stuffed in a flat roti like bread. It is usually eaten hot or cold with ghee or milk topping or coconut milk at some places of Karnataka. Greetings <inaudible> 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 In Kannada, the greeting is Ugadi Habada Shubasahayagalu Ugadi Habada Subaziagalu, Greetings for the Festival of Ugadi, or Hosa Varshada Shubhashiagalu Hosa Varsada Subaziagalu, Greetings on the New Year. In Telugu, the traditional greetings for Ugadi are Krad the Yetta, Ugadi Panduga, Palakarimpulu, or Ugadi Subaakankshalu, Krata Ada, Ugadi Panduga. Palakarimpulu Lida Ugadi Subakingsalu, Greetings for the Festival of Ugadi, and Natana Samvastara Shuba Kankshalu Natana Sanvatsara Subakingsalu, Greetings on the New Year. Topic: <laughs> Related festivals. The Hindus of Maharashtra term the same festival, observed on the same day, Gudi Padwa Marathi. Gudi Padwa. The Sindhis, people from Sindh, celebrate the same day as Chedi Chand, which is the beginning of their calendar year. Manipuris also celebrate their new year as Sajibu Nangma Panba on the same day. The Hindus of Bali and Indonesia also celebrate their new year on the same day as Nipi. Topic. See also Hindu calendar Hindu units of time Yuga